the Heart's Journey. This is Monsignor Shido from St. Anthony's Catholic Church in Des Moines, Iowa. And uh, today I'd like to reflect a little bit on Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. One of the most fundamental truths that we have to hold on to as Christians is the recognition of what God has done for us in our lives and to show our appreciation to him by, as the words of the psalmist puts it, to sing his holy praises for he has done wondrous deeds for us. Worship is at the heart of the Christian life. The primary purpose for a Christian's existence is to give worship and praise to God uh, in song and in word and action. First of all, in song, meaning that we focus on our worship of God at the Mass. I was at a conference uh, some time ago, and the presenter was talking about what, what things or characteristics need to be in place in order for a person to be uh, a bona fide member of a parish. You know, a lot of times we think that's all you need to do is have yourself signed in on the, on the parish registry. But there's more to being a parishioner than having your name simply written on the registry uh, or a parish directory. According to him, there are four things that need to be in place for a person to be considered an active member. And the first is, uh, in light of what we're talking about in the psalm, uh, the importance of, of Mass. Coming to Mass weekly. Seeing the obligation of the commandment uh, to worship God. Remember to keep holy the Sabbath day. Uh, the commandment of God uh, instructs us that it's not an option, but it is at the heart of, of the Christian life, of the faithful life, to give God what is his due, to sing his praises at least once a week on the Sabbath day, which is for the Christian's Sunday. And so the first thing that we need to examine our hearts about in terms of being an active member of our church is, do I see worshiping God at Mass every week as a priority and as something that I really need to work on? and bring my family uh, together to sing the praises of the God to the Lord who has done so much for me. A lot of times we think about it in terms of what I can get. We think about this in terms of what we can give. That's the first qualification. The second is uh, to be part of the parish in terms of, of uh, actively involvement in an organization uh, like the Knights of Columbus or the Alder Rosary or the school board or whatever, to be actively involved in that. Uh, the, third, the third thing is uh, to uh, tithe regularly. Uh, parish can't live on, on air. We have, to, we have to see it as important for us to be, to be uh, coming to, uh, involve, to be involved in an activity or an organization. And fourthly, uh, to come to regularly to all kinds of activities, to see uh, the parish as a family and as a community that you want to be part of coming to activities. And so those are four, four qualities or qualifications or characteristics of being an active member in a parish. The first and foremost reflects the words of the psalmist. The height of the Christian life is to sing the praises of the Lord in worship. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Let us show forth the praises of the God who loves us so much by being an active part of our parish community. Mm -hmm.